Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Uh, moving right along on topic seven, today we're going to find the area of trapezoids and kites, uh, two other quadrilateral, two other four-sided polygons. Um, and we're going to be using ideas we have formulated right in the first two sections of this topic. So some key ideas and reminders. Number one, seven two, the area of a triangle can be found by multiplying half of the base times the height. Right? I guess I should also point out that you could also do base times height and then right divide that by two. That would work the same as multiplying by half. And if you have questions about that, pause the video and just come and chat with me real quick. The second key idea is that to find the area of many different shapes, of many different figures, you can decompose, right, remember, you can, I guess I wrote that in the next sentence, but you can break them up, right, into figures you are familiar with, right? I might not know how to find the volume or excuse me, the area of that shape, but I do know how to find the volume of two rectangles. I might not know how to find the area of that shape, but I can find the area of two triangles, a rectangle, and a square. Okay, so break them into shapes you do know how to work with, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So, right, there are two steps to finding the area of a trapezoid. The first one is to break it into shapes you're familiar with. In this case, a rectangle and two triangles. Notice that's these dotted lines here. Right, triangle one, triangle two, and then R for rectangle. And then the second step here, right, is to find the area of each of those shapes. So if you want to work with me along this, you can. If you want to pause the video and try it for yourself, that's cool too. I'm going to start with my rectangle. My, my rectangle, right, is going to be base times height. My rectangle is a 10 by 12. The area of my rectangle is 120 yards squared. Okay. Triangle 1 is 1 half base times height. Base is 4. Height is 12. All right, one, uh, 4 times 12 is 48. Half of 48 is 24 yards squared. Mm, probably shouldn't do green on a green trapezoid, right? Triangle 2, same formula. Base is 4. Height is still 12. Still taking half of that. 4 times 12 is still 48. Half of that is 24 yards squared. You might notice something in this trapezoid that those triangles are the same. So you could have just multiplied your first triangle by two, right? There are some other strategies and shortcuts that you might come up with along the way. I'm going to show you, right, just kind of how the math works. So we've got rectangle plus triangle plus triangle. See, four gives us 168 yards squared. Right. Now I would definitely pause the video and try these. I will warn you, both of these involve some amount of problem solving because they do not give you every measurement. But enjoy. All right. Starting with number one, uh, you'll notice here that this upper section can be cut off into a triangle, right? Except if I do that, then the top part of my triangle, like the one leg of my triangle here, didn't have a measurement. So I had to figure out, I subtracted 11 and 25 hundredths minus 6 and 25 hundredths. This top part of my triangle here is 5. I found the area of the triangle in red, the area of the rectangle in green. I added them together to get my total area of 43 and 75 hundredths. In the second trapezoid, they give you one triangle, and they expect that you break the rest of the trapezoid up into the other triangle. Okay? And so when I drew in this black dotted line here, right, this, one, this line here, 
Right? I created a rectangle that had a base of 12, so I knew that this other base was 12, and a height of 8, so I knew that that was 8. I figured out that this measurement was 4 by adding up 4 plus 12, which was 16, and I needed to get to a total of 20. In blue, I calculated the area of my rectangle. In red, I calculated the area of two triangles, which they were 16 each. And then up here, you can see where I added that all together, rectangle plus triangle plus triangle. If you're having questions, please stop. Come and see me. Okay. And the last thing we're going to talk about here is finding the area of a kite. Again, two steps. First one, decompose the figure into two triangles, into shapes you're familiar with. Okay. Notice here I've created one, two identical triangles. Okay. You technically could also write that these triangles that look like this. These are identical triangles. There is a second option. There is a second option that you technically could have created that triangle and that triangle. Either will work. Okay. What I would encourage you to do right now, right, is solve it in whichever way is making most sense to you. Pause the video and see if your answer matches mine. I got 300 centimeters squared. I went with the option of having two identical triangles here. And so the base is this whole length of this shape, which was 30. My height was 10. One triangle is equal to 150. I doubled that for two triangles to get 300 centimeters squared. Okay. Again, if you're having questions, please come and see me. Otherwise, completing 7.3 in the online textbook.